Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you are going to be hanging out with me doing a quick workout here outside. I have a couple equipment pieces. I'm not gonna use all of them. Majority of them you could do outside. You don't really need anything, but I do have things to help me enhance my workout to have a good workout today. You know, with this coronavirus going around, the gyms are closed. So if you're lucky that you have a gym, good for you. I don't have a gym right now, so I'm working with what I have. In my car, I have basically everything. I have a foam roller. I have the hip thrust, um, hip circle band. I have sliders. I have a little medicine ball. I have jump rope. I have a resistance band, which I like to use as resistance band. I have it like attached to my car and you can work on your back. You can work on your um, biceps and your triceps as well. So I have basically my trunk of my car is my gym right now. Um, I hope you guys stick around for the rest of this video. I'm not gonna listen to music. I already worked out a little bit, but I'm gonna show you the rest of my workout. It's not gonna be too crazy long. Just gonna do a couple different sets of things and go up this little hill. Cause that little hill is fun to go up. I'm definitely out of shape. I haven't been super active in the past months, maybe even a year if you want to know. Um, yeah, around like May was when I was starting to like kind of stop and stuff. So we're already in March. So I've been trying my best to get back at it and I'm sure you guys have too, or you are doing what you can to get back at it. I'm a person that has been through different life struggles and weight loss has been and fitness, weight loss fitness has been something that's been a part of my life ever since 2011. I'm definitely not sad about me gaining weight. Yeah, it sucks, but you can always shed it off again, um, shred it off again. So let's get to working out. Um, so like I said, you don't really need anything. Um, you could do this without, but I'm gonna actually use it. And oh, I have a kettlebell too show it if you don't have a kettlebell what you could do is just imitate that you have something or if you have a big um, gallon of water if you have a big gallon of water you can use that as your kettlebell like to do is kind of open my legs and tighten the back of my glute so we're gonna bring it a little bit more together bend and then you open and close it's kind of like a chicken
that burns. <laughs> it burns so bad. Like I said, like I said earlier, slowly but surely, I'm getting into it back. I know the workouts is just getting your body to adapt to the workouts. It's challenging. I definitely have put on more than for my lowest of what I was doing really well. I put on at least 40 to 50 pounds. Um, so your body changes in the weight. It makes it challenging to do the exercises, but it's not impossible. You just take it easy. Listen to your body more than anything. If something feels off, switch it up, change the position, and you'll be okay. So next, I'm gonna use the kettlebell. Like I said, if you don't have a kettlebell, I'll show you what you can do. Act like you have something. And when you hold it, swing and tighten here. I need a water for a second. Now I'm gonna go up and down the hill. I'm gonna do three, see if I could do more. seem to find it harder to work out 
outside, especially when the wind goes to your face. I hate that feeling. I don't like the feeling of cold air on my face. It's a chilly day today. It might look nice and bright, but it's actually cold. That's why I have this on. But no matter what you're going through right now with your physique, it's important to know that you are loved and you are cherished, the person that you are. The outside can change, yeah. It could change, your body can shift, losing weight, gaining muscle, gaining weight. But at the end of the day, you are you, no one else. So it's a matter of how you look at things in different perspectives, being humble and loving the person you are. I think we lack, a lot of people lack in the fitness platforms to, yeah, I'm fat, but people lack the actual like, the compassion and the reality of it is that our body shifts no matter what age we're at. You know, life happens. We go through different things in life. Life isn't fair. Different things happen. And, you know, you can't control things. And when things happen that, hap that, that shifts our life, it changes our eating habits. It changes our routine. And I don't think a lot of fitness instructors and fitness coaches really truly know how to teach in a way that you have to put that into factor that yeah yes you want to help others get to their finish like their ultimate goal they actually want to help them succeed not just be there and clock in and clock out i've dealt with fitness instructors that that's what they do they clock in and they clock out and that's just how it is no relationship beyond the actual fitness part and understandable because you have to pay for people's times you're not just gonna clock in and clock out but you know i don't know the fitness game has to change in that perspective and i hope one day to be those one of those people to help with that mission i need to be okay though i need to feel good at a certain part of my life in order to do that because right now I got so much going on <laughs> and stuff but my back to my point is that life happens don't feel guilty if you can't do something just get back up and try it your own way so um, I think I want to do one more thing um, and then I'm gonna be finishing off cuz your girl's tired from earlier <laughs> Obviously, I'm just showing you a piece of the workout. I'm not showing you everything that I did, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I did. Um, so, something that without uh, equipment is burpees. You guys are probably like, Elena, I freaking hate burpees. I know, I hate them too. But, excellent hit workout, to be honest, to implement to your workout if you don't have any equipment, but you need to actually have your heart be going and working different body parts so we're gonna do burpees bear with me again because it's been a while since i've done burpees so let's get to it and i don't have a mat so the grass is gonna be all up in my face and i don't know what has happened throughout this grass I'm gonna show you two different types of burpees, the jumping one and then just the regular one.
you gotta be careful when you're going up I'm kind of like pulling the strength of my calves don't do that <laughs> um, let me show you again real quick That was a good one. Now regular. It's been a while since I've done a burpees, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Take your time. And there's a couple parts where you can see where I'm not bending to jump. Make sure your leg's not straight. Mine's at some point was straight. And that was pulling tension on my calves, so you don't want that. Make sure when you're actually getting ready, you wanna have your legs bent. And then use your, your heel of your foot to push up and you go up. That's the best I can explain it. I don't have my mic on me, so I would show it to you and talk it out. But I don't have my mic and you probably won't be able to hear me with the wind. So yes, again, you're going down. You bring yourself back up, bending your legs, using your heel to push you up and you go and you jump. And if you can't do that, just do regular because at some point you're gonna be able to do the jumping one and the jumping one suck anyways. So <laughs> you don't wanna do all that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed workout videos like this, again, let me know. I'm slowly but surely getting to my fitness goals, but with the gym closing down, <laughs> kind of sucks and ruins my plans, but I'm gonna be working out outside not very long um i definitely want to find a space like right here i find a space where it's neutral like nobody's around me you don't want to be near people right now keep your social distance it can suck especially if you're an extrovert and a person of relationships that's what i'm all about but be safe be cure be cur i can't even speak be safe and be courteous of other people's surroundings you don't want to overstep and have an amazing amazing beautiful day. Never give up on your goals and dreams and stay amazing. Bye guys.